Hi, I'm AJ, and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber and you want to be a part of the AJ Mobile Money Nation, click the subscribe button below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. In this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to purchase stocks, bonds, or ETFs using the SoFi Invest app. For those of you who don't know, SoFi Invest is an investing app which allows you to buy stocks with no commission fees. You can buy fractional or partial shares of the investments you choose, and you can also buy cryptocurrency. If you're not familiar with the fractional share investing, I have a video explaining this concept, including a list of all the platforms you can use to buy fractional shares. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm using the Android version of SoFi Invest app, so there may be a slight difference on iOS devices. If you don't already have an account, use the link I posted in the description or the top comment below. After you've created your account, made your initial deposit, and have the app installed, you can start by opening the app on your phone, enter your password, then you'll see the different options within SoFi at the bottom. Within this one app, you have access to SoFi Money, which is SoFi's cash management account, which currently provides a 1.60% interest rate on your cash. I have a review of SoFi Money if you want to check that out later. You also have access to their loan options, which include student loans, mortgage loans, as well as refinancing for both, as well as Relay, which is a budgeting application similar to Mint and Personal Capital, where you can connect your outside financial accounts in order to see all of your financial accounts in one place to help you with budgeting. And finally, the Invest tab, which is what we will go through today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Invest, which I'm already on. At the top, you will see the total value of your accounts. And if you have multiple, you can click on view accounts to see them individually. As you can see, I have three separate accounts created. I have a traditional taxable brokerage account, which SoFi calls an active investing account. I have an automated investing account, which I open as a traditional IRA, as well as a crypto investing account used to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. These three accounts were created just to test out their features. In fact, for the active investing and crypto investing accounts, I receive bonuses for creating the account and making at least one purchase. Right now with SoFi Invest, when you use my referral link to open an active investing account, with at least $100, you will receive $50 worth of your favorite stock. At the time I signed up, the bonus and the minimum deposit was $25 each, and you didn't get to choose the stock. I received $25 worth of Lululemon stock as my bonus, which is now worth $25.94. That's a 3.76% gain. This is what makes this bonus better than a bonus like what Robinhood and other platforms provide, where the value is random in addition to the stock being random. You may get a higher value stock, but the chances are slim. I'd personally rather have $25 or now $50 guaranteed and have the ability to select which stock it actually goes to. So if I invest provides this with their sign up bonus, that referral link is available in the description. For the crypto investing account, I also received a $25 bonus. This offer actually came to me via email shortly after the crypto investing option was made available. So you may also receive a similar email after you sign up. Unfortunately, there is no current referral specifically for that account. However, if you choose, you can use part of your deposit to invest in cryptocurrencies. I would wait just to see if you receive the email offer first so you can get that bonus as well. So let's start with the active investing account. In this account, I currently have three holdings. Lulu, which I received as a free bonus. Beyond Meat, which I buy $5 worth twice a month. I auto deposit the money and then make the purchase on the 1st and 15th of each month. Unfortunately, there's no way to automate the actual purchase. If you saw my previous tutorial on M1 Finance, you will see that they are the only way to buy stocks, not including mutual funds, automatically without a fee. Maybe this is a feature so far I can add in the future. It's definitely something that I would prefer to have within this app. The next asset I have is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. Whenever I receive a bonus for referring others to SoFi Invest, I use that bonus money to buy more of the ETF. But as an example, if I wanted to buy a different ETF or stock, I would just use the search bar here. So let's search for Berkshire Hathaway A shares. Berkshire Hathaway A shares, their ticker symbol is BRKA. I use this as an example because it is not one of the stocks where you can buy fractional shares. If you were to select a stock not available as a stock bit, which is what Sof SoFi calls their available companies for fractional share purchases, you would have to select the number of shares you want to purchase and pay for a full share times the value of the stock. 
in this case, over 300,000 for Berkshire's A shares. Now this is an extreme example, but let me show you instead a stock like Amazon, which is not only lower in price per share, but also available as a stock bid for fractional share purchases. And just so you know, uh, BRK, their B shares, are available as stock bits as well um, at their $200 price point. So like when you click buy, you'll see the option to either choose the dollar amount that you want to invest or the number of shares that you want to invest. When you use the BRK B or A option, the higher price one, when you click buy, you only have the option to choose the number of shares you want to buy, which means you would need over $300,000 just to buy a share. So as an example of another higher price stock, not as high as Berkshire A, Amazon. Now when you search for Amazon, you can search using either their ticker symbol, which is AMZN, or you can type in Amazon and then their ticker symbol will show up and you just select it. And as you can see here, the stock per share is currently $1,800. So if you were to buy a full share, you would need to have a full $1,800 just to buy one share. However, you do have the option to buy partial shares with SoFi Invest, and Amazon is one of those options for stock bids. So when you click the buy button, you have the option to select the number of shares you wanna buy, if you wanna buy a share, or the number of dollars. And then you can invest as little as $1 into Amazon or any other stock that's on the stock bid list. This is awesome for those who may not be able to afford a full share of Amazon, but still want to invest in the stock. Okay, let's go back to the details page. On this section, you can view the performance for a day, a week, a month, three months, year, or five years. You can choose to follow the company, which I'm already following Amazon. And you can also see a description of the company that you're looking at. Below this, you can view details about the stock. So you can see the low price for Amazon stock for today. You can see the high, you can see the 52 week low, and you can see the 52 week high as well as the opening cost of the stock for today. If I slide over, I can see the volume of how many times this stock was traded for today, uh, the PE ratio, which is the price earnings ratio, average daily volume, which is 3.1 million versus current volume, which is 1.4, and the dividend yield if the company pays a dividend. Amazon doesn't pay a dividend, so that's why it's zero. And then you can also see the market cap, which is the market capitalization, the full value of Amazon based on its share price and the number of shares that are available to buy. And below this, you can see news about whichever stock that you're looking at at the moment. So you see today's news on Amazon from Forbes, from Stock Options Channel and Business Insider. So if we go back one more page, you can see a list of the popular stocks that are available for fractional share investing. Many of these are companies you may have heard of and some are ETFs from SoFi, Vanguard and others. So you can see that list here. See some names that look familiar, Apple, Disney, Tesla, Starbucks, Beyond Meat, Microsoft, Alphabet, and many, many more. This list is constantly being added to. Um, SoFi does update you with the new stocks that are being added. Uh, when I first decided to make this video, Berkshire B shares actually weren't available and only Berkshire A, the $300,000 share, uh, $300,000 per share stock from Berkshire was the only option, but now Berkshire B is also available. Next, we have our crypto section. So we'll go back one more page and click on crypto. Here you can see the available uh, cryptocurrencies that you can buy within SoFi Invest, and that's Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin for the moment. But you can also watch other cryptocurrencies like Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, and others listed here. Uh, some of these will be made available in the future, but at the moment, the only thing you can actually buy are these three at the top. Now going back to the main accounts page, I'm going to take a look at the automated investing option, uh, which I created as a traditional IRA, but it doesn't have to be an IRA. Now with the automated investing option, you can actually automate your purchases, unlike the active investing account. However, instead of selecting individual stocks, you pre-select pre-made portfolios based on your risk tolerance. The option I selected was the aggressive portfolio just as a test when you click on view holdings you can see that the cash i added to this account is being invested in multiple etfs 
two from SoFi and three from Vanguard. Currently, there is no expense ratio for the SoFi ETFs, but that is scheduled to end early next year. Vanguard has some of the lowest expense ratio ETFs and mutual funds around, so they are a good option if you're looking to invest using ETFs. The ETFs in these automated portfolios are selected by SoFi themselves, and any changes made to the portfolio will be made by SoFi. This is why it's called an automated investing account, because all you have to do is select a portfolio based on your risk tolerance and choose the amount of money you want to deposit each month and the day of the month you want to add a deposit. Previously, I had this set with two $10 deposits, once on the 1st and once on the 15th of each month, but I don't currently add anything into this account because it was really just created just to test it out to see how it works, just for you guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you're interested in opening a SoFi account, use the link in my description as well as the comments below. When you make a $100 initial deposit, you'll receive a $50 bonus towards your favorite stock available as a stock bit. This is a really simple investment app to use. It's free to trade, you can buy fractional shares, and you can even buy cryptocurrencies all within one application. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or if you would like more videos just like this for other platforms, hit the like button and leave a message in the comments below. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, be sure to click the subscribe button below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.